Hi everybody, I am Saeed and you are watching The Key Channel. You may have heard a lot about the fact that if your laptop gathers a lot of dust, it doesn't work very well. What's the meaning of it exactly and how we can make this problem right? The reality is that inside your laptop, your CPU and GPU create a lot of heat at the time of processing different data. That heat should be sent out of your laptop. A very great part of it, it depends on the air flu. It meaning that uh, when your laptop is working and it creates a lot of heat by its CPU and its GPU as I said, uh, it should be transmitted into another part which is called heat sink. Inside it, you have several orifices that air can go through them by the fan and then get out of your laptop. So that heat reaches to the air and the air gets out of your device. What happens here is that not only the air gets into that heat sink, but also the dust can get through it. And after some time, it gets more and more and more, meaning that uh, your laptop at the time that you have bought it uh, doesn't have any dust inside, so it can be cooled down very easily. After some time, it gathers a lot of dust, so its performance decreases because it is working in higher temperatures and the fan cannot make it cool enough to work like its previous days. And you may have experienced it many times and right now, before and in future that when you're working with your laptop, you feel that it doesn't work as well uh, like one year ago, a couple of years ago. It is really getting more problematic now. Uh, it doesn't have the same speed as the past. A part of the reason is related to the fact that it cannot send out a lot of heat. At the beginning of the spectrum, is a time that your laptop accumulated a lot of dust so it cannot make itself really cold. At the end of the spectrum, you have a condition in which no air can get out of your laptop so it cannot cool itself down. At this point, uh, you may see that something like a blackout at a very specific moment, for example, at a time of um, after 10 or 20 minutes of working with your laptop, you see that it shuts down without any kind of alarm. The reason is that when the CPU gets, uh, the temperature of your CPU gets higher than a specific amount, it turns itself off to prevent any damage. And because of that, it never asks you any kind of question about, do you want to shut down your computer? This is the end of the spectrum. What we need to do is to disassemble the laptop and reach to the fan. And then uh, we need to clear the dust, of course. But first, do not forget the fact that you need to buy something like this. Thermal paste. Of course, you know it. A very small amount. And uh, what we need to do first is that Understanding the fact that the laptop is a really sophisticated device in terms of disassembly. If you don't know how to disassemble your device, I of course offer you to search on YouTube for it and find disassembly process for it. Because they are in many cases very sophisticated. It is impossible to find uh, how to open it with uh, try and error. And Another thing that you need to buy is this one that I said, and you can start. In this video, I'm working on this laptop. Let me see, it's Dell Inspiron N5110. But the basics are quite the same. Let's roll up our sleeves and start to work. I start disassembling the laptop with removing the battery and unscrewing the back of the laptop. Be very careful and keep all of these screws in a really safe place. You'll need all of them. Many of them keeps together more than two parts of your laptop. 
So if you lose just one of them, you will lose the integrity of your laptop at the end. This is a RAM cover. DVD writer. Now I am removing the keyboard by releasing its clips. Keyboard connector. Now I am unscrewing the front panel and is connecting its connectors. I use a guitar pick to remove the front panel because it is created from hard plastic and never leaves traces behind. It is not similar to something like a screwdriver. This is a display connector, fan connector, Bluetooth, speakers connector, and now I am unscrewing the main board. And removing the display. These are Wi-Fi cables. On the other side of the main board, you can see the cooling system. I want to screwing it to be able to clean up the dust. A lot of dust can be seen here. These are remains of the thermal paste. should uninstall the fan itself. A lot of dust. To clean up the remnants of the previously used thermal paste, you can use a piece of fabric moisturized just with the water. Move it at first in only one direction and afterwards use rotational movement. It can be cleaned up very easily. Now I'm cleaning up GPU again just in one direction and then use rotational movement. Now the CPU. This accessory works really nice if you have use it without a doubt. It's a kind of accessory which is attached to vacuum machine. It's really a brush. I clean up the dust very easily. Of course, we can also use a brush to clean up very small parts. I am bringing back the fan into its original place. And 
is a good idea to use paper tape to seal everywhere. Of course, we need to use thermal paste, but why we need to do so? Maybe you are like me, I want to know everything, why I am doing this work exactly. The reason is that uh, when you uh, attach heat sink on your CPU or GPU, uh, if those pieces are very rough, they cannot connect to each other very well, so the heat cannot transfer from one to another. So we need to smooth them completely. Really, if you look at your CPU or GPU, you see that they are very similar to mirror. You can see yourself inside them because they are really smooth. But the problem is that when they are very smooth, the heat sink reaches to the head of the CPU, for example. But a very small angle uh, finally creates a condition on which you don't have any connection. It's a very large clearance between them. So it prevents the heat transfer between them. As far as we are talking about solid materials, it is impossible to make them in contact very perfectly. What we need to do is to use liquid. Thermal paste can transfer the heat very easily, but the difference is that because it is not a solid material, it's liquid, it can shape itself in between these parts and it can transfer the heat very easily. Because of that, do not start such a task without buying thermal paste. Now I am applying thermal paste on CPU. A very little amount would be enough. Then on GPU. And now I am trying to spread it. Look at this. We can see some numbers around the screws of the cooling system. It means that you need to obey a specific kind of order in fastening them. Screw number one, number two, number three, number four, and number five. To reassemble the laptop, of course, I need to start with main board. Screwing it again. Speakers connector. Fans connector, a part of the front panel, the display, and screwing it. Displays connector, Wi Fi connectors, Bluetooth. And now the front panel. And its connectors. DVD writer. And a screwing the back of the laptop. I hope that you have all of those screws at this time. The cover of the RAM. Keyboard's connector. Keyboard itself. And the battery. Now our laptop is ready to go. Many people are afraid of a disassembly like this. Disassembling a device like a laptop. Understandably so. 
but you need to face it, dare it, and do it yourself. It is quite possible. As you can see, my old laptop is now working very well. Now it can breathe very easily. Thanks for watching.